Hello. Yes, I'm Crazy Nate. And I live in a big white tranny. Here she is, a 2007 2.4 liter turbo diesel high top long wheelbase Ford Tranny. Well, welcome to the van. This is the bedroom. And here's what it looks like with the doors open. Let me just pack all this away. This is the kitchen. So I have like a, a fully, basically a fully functional sink. Underneath the sink, I have a dish drying rack, just a shelf and my wet bucket, gas burner, bin and recycling bin. Great water hose is made out of like a flexible hose. So if anything ever gets stuck in the bottom of the S bend, you can just like flex it up and then it'll like clear all the stuff out and put it into the gray water. So that's that's been handy. So I often get it blocked with coffee grounds from making coffees in the morning. An essential part of the kit, this bucket hangs underneath these hooks here. And then I just hang my wetsuit here. That just comes in. I usually pin these together. This is a little hack that I found. So if you, if you pin the arms together, then they like drip down into like a singular point. Once you just get the legs in, you know, that just hangs there and my wetsuit can dry fully inside in all conditions. This is my table and bench. So it just folds up and these legs are telescopic, so... Screw them into their little height, there's like a little line in there and then... So... Then that flops down and that's the bench. I can pull out my fridge and then use it as like a desk. Oh, were you looking at the water? Sorry mate. Just gonna tell you about my zebra switch. We got water, power, under the bed light and three spares to do whatever in the future if I ever do anything to it. I do all of my cooking on the bench top that folds out. Just because it's got like nice ventilation. <clears throat> I've only got one burner and I know what you're probably thinking. What do you do when you do like pasta or like a curry with rice? Well, to that I say, when all you have is time, what's the matter with putting a pan aside and cooking some rice second? Here, we have the storage for the van. This is just where I keep all food and various items. It's all open storage, there's no cupboard doors. And then it's just worked out really well to just be able to put your hand in and grab whatever you need without a door opening into your face. Just above me are my clothes bins. Again, no cupboard doors. If I want to get my clothes, it's like one action and I got half my clothes. <laughs> In summertime, I pretty much live in one of these, but winter time, I guess I have three. There's another three there, so, you know, there's room for a co-pilot. Now we take a spin for the rear and check out what I store underneath my bed. First, out comes my kite surfing gear. Here's my dual suspension bushwhacker track smacker. Kite surfing board. My regular surfboard. And finally my spear gun. And here's my massive drawer of, I'm going to fix it. I know what you're thinking. Nathan, that is an awful gas hot water heater. Turn the water on, turn the gas on. 
I have 82 litres of water storage underneath the van and that gets me about four days worth of showers and dishes. On the roof of the van there is 400 watts of solar and that is charging 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. Yes indeed quite hmm. This plant is real. So yeah, this is the sunroom. <laughs> Cheers. One more item that I got to show and there's gonna be two sides of this. People who have less and think this is the best thing ever and people who have something more and think this is disgusting. All right, so here we have the best invention, which is the pee funnel. So this is just a funnel that's connected to a hose that routes down to the back tire on the outside of the van, obviously. And it's, yeah, just a silicon flexible funnel that's the appropriate shape for the other gender. This is um, just quite essential for when it's like cold and rainy, like you, you just don't want to leave the van. And um, so after you've used the facilite, you pour a cup of water down it, spray it with some spray and wipe, hang it back up, it's done. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the big white tranny. Hope to see you in the next videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. If you get that camera any closer to my face, I'll bite your leg. Alright, I'm just going to walk on over here.